Hey y'all, welcome to The Rock House, where spiritual growth is and always will be the foundation. Woo. As you can see, I'm running, not outdoors, but indoors. Uh, this is my first run in, gosh, probably several months because I have been lying dormant and eating food badly, but I realized in order to feel good by myself and uh, be able to do things in life that I enjoy doing that are very active while I'm here on earth, I have to take care of the temple and taking care of the temple means getting up off my rusty dusty and putting in work. Do I like running? No. <laughs> but it is necessary to get to where I want to be. To get my temple to be cardiovascularly in shape. So that's what I'm doing. I'm running now, taking care of the temple. I got up and read my Devo this morning. That's not for props, just saying that although you take care of the, the body, the temple, you have to take care of the mind as well. And as always, I always tell you guys, I am not perfect. I still have my struggles, have issues and things, but I'm growing and that is key. So you all keep growing as well. Thanks for joining me. This is a short one. I don't like to talk and run. Get it in, whatever it is. Start with one push-up a day, and then move to two push-ups, three push-ups. Start walking, and eventually you too will be running for the crown of glory. Okay, so I just finished my run. Uh, it was a good run after not running for quite some time. Uh, it worked out well. I, I completed the run. I, I was on the treadmill for about four and a half miles, but I didn't run that whole time. <laughs> I ran for probably about two and a half miles, which I think is pretty good. Um, I feel good. It was a good run. I'm just getting ready to stretch it out now. I uh, I love it. I feel good. Pores are open. Sweat is flowing. It's awesome. Although during the run, as you saw, I was struggling a little bit and the pain was starting to creep in and the enemy was telling me, your legs are hurting, man. You too big to run. You too big to run. And I was like, you know, it is hurting. My knees are cracking a little bit. Uh, I'm out of breath a little bit. But you know what I told the enemy? I said, I may be too big to run, but I'm getting it in anyway. And I'm working out my heart. And you know what's really important is God is all about the heart. It's matters of the heart. So I have a strong heart from doing cardio. So as long as I can run, I'm gonna run. So if the devil wants to come with me, he can run alongside me, but we're gonna run together. <laughs> uh, it takes a lot of discipline and dependency when you're running. Uh, a discipline is you are telling yourself, hey, you can do it, you can, you can power through this, you can make it through, just make it to the next step, make it, uh, keep running, just keep running, keep running. So it takes discipline to really focus and think about where you wanna be. And typically when I run outside, I look at the next marker or something up ahead that I run to. And then I add another one and another one and another one. Before you know it, it's three, four or five miles or whatever. And outside it's great. But today, as you saw, I was running inside on the treadmill and running on the treadmill, a little bit different. There are no markers in front of me. So I had to create my own. My marker was the mirror that was in front of me. So I was looking at myself in the mirror and thinking, okay, that's not who you want to be right there, right now. But I had to visualize where I wanted to be, getting rid of this extra weight and taking care of my heart. I had to think about that while I'm looking at myself in the mirror and motivating myself and saying, hey, you can do this, keep it up. I know everything hurts. I know it's uh, tough. I know you're getting tired, but run anyway, run anyway, because you're taking care of the temple. That takes discipline but I was motivated by looking at where I want to be and not where I was. And it takes um, determination. Determination is just that grit 
And finally, the last D, of course, I did three Ds. I started out doing two, but this is the third one. The third one is probably the most important because the third one is dependency. During my run, I know I can't do it all by myself. I know that that inner strength that people talk about, that inner strength comes from a higher power and it comes from my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's the one that gives me breath in my lungs. He gives me the energy to run. He took away the pain as I continued to run and warmed my body up. So he was in control of all that. It wasn't me, although I was looking at me changing in the mirror and looking at where I wanted to be, it was all about him. So it causes dependency, it causes me to be dependent on him and let him drive. And I just sit back and relax and ride the wave. So um, I'm learning a lot when I run, <laughs> a lot of revelations. Uh, I'm excited about that. And that to me is growing spiritually. So guys, this is a longer video than I expected. I'm glad you guys joined me today. Uh, keep coming back for more spiritual growth because that's about that's what this channel is all about. And like I always tell you folks, I am not perfect, not perfect in no shape or form, but I am determined to grow spiritually. And as long as I'm living, I'm going to continue to press toward the mark of the higher calling of Jesus Christ. You can join me if you like. And if you don't, that's fine too, but I'm going to keep moving. Thanks a lot. Like, share this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I post another video. Y'all have an awesome, amazing, wonderful day. Get it in, do something, walk, run, just do something and eat well. Love you.